My name is Veronica Paulson. I'm a professional skier living in Jackson, Wyoming. And our next athlete, Veronica Paulson. Throughout my ski career, I've met people that I look up to. We see everything that they accomplish, but we don't really see what goes into that. How do you stay calm in death-defying exposure? That was so hard. How do you keep your love for competing alive for over a decade? 14 seasons on the tour and still evolving. They don't call him the mayor of Stomp Town for nothing. What small steps do you take every day to get to be one of the best skiers in the world? I want to know everything I can to help me in my journey of professional skiing. We are going to live a day in the life as Jim Ryan. He has a pretty wild daily routine, trains himself in every way he can to stay calm during stressful situations. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good. We're going to do everything that he does and then hopefully we're going to go ski something a little out of my comfort zone. I never run that far, honestly. It's just a way to use my feet before I put them in ski boots. This is Jim Ryan. Jim and I ran in similar circles. We were all trying to be pro skiers. I noticed that I was focused on the hill and on the gym, and everything outside of that wasn't connected to skiing for me, but for him it was. Dropping. Ooh. Here the warning first turn. I was from the East Coast, and so I didn't really understand how that kind of big mountain skiing worked at all. It took me a long time here of talking to people and learning skill sets and working on fitness in order to kind of unlock the higher peaks. We just went on a run and now we're gonna shock our bodies and get really, really cold. Just sit down. Okay. It's like a bunch of little, tiny little knives. Sometimes it feels like extreme. Think about your breathing a lot. But we have to have this huge endurance base, also have high intensity strength moments, balance, decision making, and you can't train for all of those things constantly. You just try and make yourself as adaptable as possible. That's really high. Yeah, it's super hot. What's the idea there? It's the same thing, you go in and it's a panic and then you have to overcome it in order to stay in the sauna. That one was a little harder to deal with for me, I don't know, it's that the, your breathing is more impaired and the burning feels a little more urgent. <laughs> you did it, yeah, you crushed it. Okay, the smoothie has three fruit components, blueberry, but they have to be Wyman's from Maine. If you're a guest, we're gonna do it with a little bit of oat milk. It's basically a full salad. Jam that in there. Jam, jam, jam. It's the supplement drawer. A scoop of this. What is that one? It's just called juice collagen. And this. There's more. Nuts. Well, peanut butter, I guess. That's a legume. We've run out of room. We'll have to blend this up. All right, we need to make room for more nuts. Black seed. Sunflowers. <gasps> I eat all of my meals with one spoon. This is my Oh, spoon. that's a nice spoon. It's got the right amount of like dip shape. I don't want to use the word mouthfeel, but <laughs> it's got an incredible mouthfeel. <laughs> In Jackson Hole, there's this line called Once is Enough. It's a cool bar from the very top of Cody Peak, so perfectly set in the rock face that your first thought upon seeing it is, holy shit, do people ski that? What spooks you out about it? Just this initial part over these rocks mm -hmm. and, and knowing it's thin, I'm just freaked out that you're gonna get in there and like, you know, catch a shark. I'm very nervous. These lines are really exposed, which is not something I'm used to. Yeah, this one is actually not hard. Okay. It's just intimidating looking. This is the kind of stuff that I would like last year, the year before have been like, oh, hell no. Mm -hmm. like, but I think I just, I want to do it just because I know I can. Feel my hands. 
sweaty. <laughs> Just looking at the photos. <laughs> <laughs> I do think if it's like this, I don't want to get into ones. And I mean, you remember the day that I broke my nose in there? Yeah. It was just. It like was this. like this. I think uh, of all days, today is a day that we can confidently ski zero G and Gothic. The weather called for a little bit more sun than we're having. It's kind of like milky out here. But that's okay, that's what happens, that's weather. So, we're adapting. The gym's ski cutting in 10 seconds. Cool V, come on down to me. That felt good. Yeah. I actually have no snow concerns and only run out concerns. Yeah. Right, because as you come through this choke, you can't really turn. Hey, we're having trouble just seeing the field after the cool war ends. Does it look generally smooth down there? There was like a dry loose release recently, but I don't think it's gonna be chunky. Thank you. There's exactly one way for things to go right, but infinite ways for things to go wrong. If you're constantly considering everything that can go wrong all the time, you're doomed. In that moment that you decide to do whatever you're doing, you're only envisioning success. This story is freaking awesome. You got this 100%. Come on, I can do it. I know I can do it. We're ready. Okay. You absolutely ripped that. I'm stoked. It was awesome. Yeah. You know, I used to have this thought that, you know, whatever bad thing would happen would happen in the cool war, right. not in the open field after. And now I know it's like, as you get older, you have more scary experiences, just you and your friends. And then it's like more and more stuff scares you that you didn't used to think about when you were younger. Yeah. But that's how we get smarter. We are hiking to our next destination. I don't want to jinx anything, but the light's getting better. This came in. So it's uh, really milky again. I don't know what we're gonna ski, but it's been moving in and out. It's been so weird. So we're just gonna go out there and take a look. And then if we bail, we bail. Here's the thing, it looks freaking awesome. We just can't see anything. <laughs> like once you exit that, what's going on? Just think about just like, just this strip. Like you could walk this really easily, right? Right. You're thinking about all this. <laughs> <laughs> Did I forget how to walk? Oh. Right? I feel like I can do this. And that, when you turn there, it draws you towards that right wall exit. And just don't hit the right wall. Right. So you make the turn, but you try and make it subtle. Okay. Easy. Whoa! V, the snow is perfect the whole way. The rock is not an issue. You got this. Three, two, one. Yeah. That was awesome! Yeah. That was so sick! Oh my god, I'm so stoked. I've never done that one. Yeah! I feel like I leveled up today. You really did. Yeah. Yeah, you really did. I have trouble eating in the morning because we wake up so early and I'm nervous. Did you take a cold shower this morning? I did actually. I'm into it and I felt so awake and so alert. I feel good. New routine. So sad. Actually, that's awesome. I don't know how warm it got up here, but I think it'll be okay. 
I think so too because it stayed cloudy yesterday. Yeah. Up here. I should think it's a go, yeah. Holy sh this is gnar actually. This is definitely a step up from yesterday. <laughs> yesterday were fun lines, but they were like half the length and not quite as exposed or steep. So this is a little more high consequence. Jim's looking at an alternate entrance into ones. I think it's a spooky en entrance. He might like it. It's on that fin over there and it's just a little more exposure. Ooh, hate that. It's like the angle is fun. It's like steeps are cool, but it's all the dagger rocks below you that really get me. <laughs> kind of hate that. <laughs> I'm gonna step it up a little bit. I'm gonna enter over on the fin. Yeah. Yeah. That was so gnarly. <laughs> he nailed that. Today is a perfect day for this. Ski it the way you want to ski it. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, money, dude! Ah. Exactly. I was so scared. Because I've chosen this as my career and I'm going to be in it for a long time, I try and be incremental. I'm always progressing, but never in huge jumps. Realizing that you have time to build a skill set. And if you make learning a habit and growth a habit, then you will get really far. <laughs> Gonna clean her up a little bit. I'll get the rest. <laughs> it's so ugly. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my oh. god. Oh, oh my oh. god! Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, that wall is pretty big. <laughs> we better be able to get some sort of turn. There were like three moments like that. <laughs>